Hi, um, good morning. Uh, today I wanted to show you how to use some online methodology to download the raw and uh, somewhat pipelined and edited FITS images from JWST using MAST, the Barbara A. Mikulski Archive for Space Telescopes, or lovingly called MAST. Um, you'll want to bring yourself and your browser to mast.stsci.edu and hit enter and it will bring you to this website which contains a ton of useful information by the way including um, some news about what's new uh, concerning what's available um, how to retrieve data uh, how to upload a target list um, data collections that are currently available and they even have a whole series of tutorials you can go uh, to youtube channel for mast and like look at all the tutorial videos in order to really bury yourself inside this archive which is really handy lots of stuff there um, here in this case they provide a feature tutorial which is kind of cool many people like to start up here under selecting a collection and then entering a target name and saying search which is one way to do this of course there's a lot of stuff available here and there are lots of targets up there in the sky um, I'm going to bring you to uh, another method, one I like to use because it's a little bit more uh, my style of interacting with the internet, uh, called Advanced Search. And when you click on it, it opens this sub-window here. That, by the way, if you feel like escaping it, can be closed by clicking on this little box up here, the Close Panel box. Since we're interested in JWST, we're going to go to the Mission section here and enter JWST and hit Enter. and uh, you'll see that it, it starts doing some updates. Records found, well, yeah, there are a lot of uh, images coming out of JWST these days. And um, at this stage, you, you're also probably wondering, well, what do I enter for a, an object? Well, it helps to know uh, an object that you're interested in looking for. I am going to try this one, see if it, uh, if it found something. Uh, this is NGC 3324 and it found some records for it, which is kind of cool, and it says it has found 10 records. It hasn't actually done the search yet, and, and you can't see what the list of, of items uh, happens to be until you click the search button. So let's click it, and it opens up a whole new screen. And you'll see up here it is, it is crunching through um, the data, and when it's done, it will make that little bar search bar disappear a progress bar will disappear and it will provide you a list of uh, finds as it were and you now are, are given the images available or the data packages available for uh, this target it also provides you this nifty little astro view of where in the sky this is and you're, you're looking here and you'll see there are actually two different um, rectangles and that's because there are two different instruments in use here um, if you look here under instrument, and you can search by this, by the way, you'll see that NearCam, the near-infrared camera, and MIRI, the mid-infrared camera, uh, both have been used to image this particular region of the sky. So, where do you go from here? Well, let me show you some interesting things also available. You can actually tell it uh, using a filter set that you just want uh, the NearCam images. Or maybe you just want the, the mirror images. Or maybe you just want to unfilter and show everything. Or maybe you're just interested in specific filters. And that's kind of cool because all the filters are listed here. And I'll leave the um, I'll, I'll leave uh, it up to you to search Google and other resources to figure out exactly what wavelength bands each of these filters are. Um, needless to say, these are all in the infrared because it's JWST. But if you're interested in, say, what the F200W filter is. I'll let you go out and look for that. So where to go from here? Uh, this is where it gets a little bit messy. Um, if we go here and download data products and click on the little disk icon, a nice little antique icon there, um, we're gonna download this into the download section and uh, off it goes. And the first thing you'll notice is that these things are pretty big. We're getting into the hundreds of megabytes. Some of them actually get into the um, much larger gigabyte scale. Just be forewarned that you may be downloading a lot of information. And it's not like you're, you're downloading one image. You're actually downloading a package of, of stuff. 
some of which are images and some of which are actually uh, CSV data files and even a web page to help you like look at what's in the package you just downloaded. So now it's done, I, I'm going to click on this and it will it'll extract it and expand it for us to look at. And then it will bring up a little window here for us to look at. And sure enough, in here it has created a manifest HTML file. I can preview that and tell you what is located inside. Uh, it also creates a couple of folders. And you'll notice one of the folders, the second one here, just contains a CSV file. I'll let you explore that on your own. The first folder actually includes a couple of FITS files. And this is where the going gets good. Uh, the second one is a segmented regions uh, series of files all in one FITS file. And when you look at it, you'll see that it's 117 megabytes in size. The one we're interested in is not the segmented one, but, but this one. It's larger, it's 940 megabytes. And you'll need to use the software of your choice. I'm gonna use PixInsight because it happens to be handily installed here, but you can use uh, ImageJ, you can, uh, Astro ImageJ, you can use MaximDL, whatever. And uh, double-clicking this will open it. And once they're all open, I will minimize the screen and make sure you can see what I'm looking at. It will open all these files for us. And uh, individually, there's a lot of a lot of stuff you're probably not going to want because it's the scientific files used to put together a final uh, image. So this is getting close, but you can still see like all the segmented regions kind of stacked together. Um, and you certainly don't need these unless you're doing some high profile science work. But the very first one that it opens is actually the data you probably are interested in playing with. This is a, uh, a FITS file of uh, using NearCam uh, F444W filter um, on the JWST. Now if you get three or four of these of different filters, you can combine them using the software of your choice to make pretty pictures, color pictures, and whatnot. And I'll leave that up to you. Um, my primary goal here today was to show you how to download these images um, directly from the Science Center for JWST. And you notice it's a one to five region here. This is a much larger file and we could we can bring this up to full scale. There's one-to-one. -one. So here's the actual data uh, in one-to-one -one format. Um, it's pretty huge. There's a lot of information here for you to play with. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope this is helpful. Um, you still need to know the name of targets that you wish to download, but uh, that's not too hard. Uh, JWST is always like throwing stuff out to the public. Um, you can always just search for those names, target names, and you'll be able to find things to download and play with. Thanks for watching.